we are indeed a few miles away at the remote location, the brand new kitchen studio. Uh, we're here with an Epicurean expert uh, in Indian food. Her name is Ruth White, and uh, we welcome her to the studios of the Loma Linda Broadcasting Network uh, Kitchen Edition. Thank welcome, you. Ruth. Thank you. I'm very excited to be here. Well, this is Southern Asia Day mm -hmm. here at the Loma Linda Broadcasting Network, and you are uh, well, just about the very first to do a live cooking demonstration. I understand. Uh, what are you going to make for us today, Ruth? We're going to be making some uh, potato patties, and uh, to do that, uh, it's going to be with a twist because uh, a lot of people have been making them over the years, but uh, mine is going to have some uh, uh, flavoring in it, some Asian flavoring. It's and very it's healthy. Delicious. I mean, you got a style of cooking that, that uh, is healthier than the original or other that's, styles. That's correct. Tell us about that. Yeah. I use olive oil, and most of the cooking that I do is vegan, vegetarian cooking, mm -hmm. and uh, it's very healthy, and most of the foods that I cook uh, they're accessible all over the world, and that's what I will be doing in my recipes. Okay, well, let's take a look. This looks like okay. it's olive oil. oil. That's correct. Mm -hmm. And olive oil is very, very healthy. What, uh, what makes it healthy? Um, because it it's, doesn't have saturated fat in it, and uh, it's, uh, it's got a lot of medicinal values mm -hmm. in it. But you want to mm -hmm. not use too much of it, right? Not too much. Yeah, not too much. What is that? That is cumin. And cumin... Uh, uh, this is, these are the seeds, uh, and what you can do is uh, you can mm. buy it as a powder mm -hmm. or you can buy it as seeds. And uh, it's got beautiful aroma, and uh, it tastes better than the aroma. And it's used in a lot of Indian recipes, uh, Mediterranean and Mexican. Kind of a signature spice, you mm -hmm. would say. Mm -hmm. Okay, it is. this is really, it looks like bee pollen. What, what is this? Turmeric. Turmeric. And turmeric has a lot of medicinal values in it, and it gives mm -hmm. a wonderful color, and also it tastes really good. It gives a lot of flavor to the food. Okay, you're the chef. Mm -hmm. Show me what you're going to make for us. Okay. Um, I already have some potatoes that I cooked ahead of time, and what we're going to do is we're going to take them and mash them a little bit. And after we mash them, we're going to put some olive oil. Get the oil oil, yeah. And we're going to save a little bit. There's a twist to it at the end. Oh, is that and, the twist uh, you were talking about? Mm-hmm. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put these together. And uh, we're also going to put some uh, onions in it. And time is of an essence. And we're just going to fast forward it. Well, that looks and, pretty uh, good. Yeah. So and there you ingest, go. Onions go right into the right pot. Right into the pot. And we're going to saute them for a little bit. Now, how much did you put in? Because I noticed that... It's half a cup of onions. You didn't use the whole... And then what, what you can do is, it all depends on some people like onions, mm -hmm. others don't. And uh, what I normally do is, I, I just it's to your discretion. Um, how much you like. In our family, everybody loves onions, so yeah. we use a lot of onions. So it's a flexible. Yes. Then we're going to put some salt in it. That's pretty coarse salt. Little, it is. And uh, we're going to... Kind of like sea salt. Mix it. Mm -hmm. And we're going to put some uh, cumin. How much? Uh, that's about a teaspoon of cumin in it. S and then we're going to put some... Uh, um, that is a mango zest. That looks like and a pinch of gets, mango zest. Mm -hmm. what and do, does it taste like mangoes? Um, it has a tart. Um, mm -hmm. It's uh, the raw mangoes that are dried up, and then uh, you can uh, either use the blender, or if you're in another part of the world, this is what normally back home, which is Pakistan, is yeah. my country, uh -huh. and uh, a lot of people use this to grind all their uh, spices. And I would suggest to toast them a little bit in the pan, dry yeah. toast them, and then, and move, then it move it around and, uh, and grind them. And people have been doing this for years and years and years. It's a wonderful device, and I use it a lot also. 
Then what we're going to do is we're just going to mix it up, and when it starts sizzling, um, we're going to form them into patties. And that's what we're going to do right now. I'm just going to wash my hands real quick. And we're going to form the patties. So the mi mixture is all mixed. Mm -hmm. do, you ha do you let it rest at all? Or? No, no, you can make them right away. Mm -hmm. And what I would suggest um, with the holidays coming up, yeah. this is a good oh. um, hors that you can um, make. And uh, you can even uh, make them ahead of time. So you can have more time with your family and friends mm -hmm. and just enjoy them. So, like so three ounces? we're going to form, yeah, just about three ounces. Yeah. And a lot better than meat patties. Much healthier, homemade. You can't go wrong with it. OK, after you've made the patties, then you're going to, most people, they take the egg wash. But we're not going to go there. Okay. We're going to make it really, really healthy. So what I did is, and this is uh, in my upcoming cookbook, mm -hmm. I will, uh, on one page, you have the recipes and the, and the pictures. On the other page, all the food values um, I have, and uh, so you, you can monitor how healthy your cooking correct. is. That's mm correct. -hmm. Okay, so this is kind of what kind of flour is this? That is a garbanzo bean flour. Where, and where, where do you get all this stuff? You can get them. Actually, they're accessible in a lot of stores now because a lot of people they don't have to be Adventists, but they're very very health conscientious mm -hmm. now, and what they're doing is they. Um, buy all these uh, ingredients right from your grocery store. Mm -hmm. And this is something that you can find all over the world. They come dry, they come in powder. What we're going to do now is we're going to take the patties, and then we're going to put them in the, now, and this what, is what a binding. Of, um, what is that again? This is just a flavor uh, breadcrumbs flavored breadcrumbs. Right, okay. Okay. And we're going to put just a little bit of olive oil, not too much. And then we're going to just let it brown because it's already cooked. The potatoes yeah. are already cooked. Turn it up. So that's what we're going to do. And uh, Okay, well you need a couple more there? Yeah, we'll do a couple more I and then wash I my will hands show you. I would help you. Then I'm going to next time mm. I will need your help. Yeah, but women usually chase me out of the <laughs> kitchen. And I'm sure they would appreciate it. I'll appreciate it. <laughs> there you go. And the beauty of this is when, after you make it and when you see the finished product, mm -hmm. you will think that I've slaved in the kitchen all day long, but I really haven't. I really haven't. And it's, it's really smelling very attractive now. <laughs> It is. It's delicious. And uh, I, I wish you could smell this. I mean, look at there's See, sizzling, sizzling in the pan. Mm -hmm. And I haven't had an, any dinner yet. Uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I think I will uh, shortly. You came to the right kitchen. You have the last word. What anyway. would you like our viewers to know about this dish? And let's take a look at, at yes. uh, the, the finished product. Yes. And folks, you... It's uh, any time you make anything, um, whether it may be a simple recipe or very exotic recipe, you really have to focus on presentation. When people look at your food, they will say, wow, I really want to eat, just like you just said to me. So um, you have to really fix it up really good. And I really envy the people of Thailand and India and Pakistan where banana leaves are really accessible. You, can, you don't have to have all the kale and lettuce and um, different things uh, that you can use, but you can go to your backyard and just pick whatever you can and uh, the leaves and do the presentation. Hmm. Yeah. Women does. Speaking with uh, Ruth White here on the Loma Linda Broadcasting Network.